Okay, this is Mr. Bullock. Uh, this uh, is going to be section six, and we're going to do in this one numbers four, five, and six. Okay, these are still reasonably easy, and they're going to start get progressively getting harder. Okay, we have the statement all of K's brothers can swim. Okay, this is a conditional statement thing from geometry. So, what I would do is I would say this uh, uh, I would write it like this if A, if A, then, an arrow means then, then B. This is how I teach conditional statements in geometry and it makes this problem a lot easier. So the if A would be if it's K's brothers and then the B would be then that person can swim. Okay, the only way I can get a logical statement that comes out of this if, if it starts off with if A then B again, so like if John was K's brother then John can swim, or if it says this, you can also, this is logical, if not B, then not A. So for example, if Susie can't swim, or no, not if and not Susie, if Jimmy can't swim, then Jimmy's not Kay's brother. Okay, so let's, it has to be one of these, it has to start off with one of these to be good. So let's go, if the statement above is true, which of the following must be true? Remember, this is the only way it can be true is if it goes in this pattern right here. Okay, A. If Fred cannot swim, that is not B, looking good. If it goes to not A, I'm done. Then it is not K's brother. Well, that's not A. There it is. It's choice A. All these other ones either start off with uh, B or they start off with not A. And uh, therefore, it wouldn't be logical. Uh, okay, number five. Okay, number five. In the figure above, triangle ABC is inscribed in the circle with center O and diameter AC. If AB equals AO, okay, this guy equals this guy. Now notice, AO is a radius of a circle. Well, so is OC and so is OB. Those are all radii and all radii of a circle are equal. Well, look, just from my markings, I haven't finished the question, but look, just from my markings, this is an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangles are also equal angular, which means this angle, every angle in that triangle is going to be 60 degrees. Well, it looks like that's what we want. What's the degree measure of angle ABO? ABO, it's also 60, choice D. Okay, okay, number six. Yeah. Oh boy, lots of letters, you guys. This one is a total plugging in numbers, you guys. You're going to start just plugging in random numbers. These ones, they're hard to do mathematically unless you plug in numbers. So all these, num all these letters, I'm going to just let them be some small numbers that are easy to work with. I got A, B, and C, and K. So I'll, right here, I'm going to go, I'm going to let, let A equal 1, B equal 2, C equal 3, and K equal 4. So when I go here, and I'll go right up above here, uh, when I go A equals 1, I get 1 half uh, out in front. Here's my A over B. And then B times C, I get uh, 2 times 3 plus K, which is 4. So order of operations, 6, times, uh, six plus 4 is 10. 1 half of 10 is 5. So, it says this, each of the following is equivalent to this, so when I plug in the same numbers, I have to get 5. As soon as I don't get 5 on any one of these, that's the one that's not equivalent. So let's try it with uh, choice A. A equals 1, C was 3, K was 4, and B was 2. Look, I get... 1 times 7 halves, that's 7 halves, that does not equal 5, so that's the culprit right there. All these other ones, it looks like I would get 5 on that. And if I had some time, I'd check, but I'm going to save some time in this video. It's choice A. Alright, see you in the next video.